afternoon. Mike Mullen from MikeMullen.net. Leaving Pocono Raceway. Had an interesting day out here. Rained. They got in some practice, no qualifying, but they only had 43 cars, so they start all 43. Guess who's on the pole? Tony Stewart, points leader, of course. Of course, he was on the pole. Same situation in June, seven weeks ago, when it rained out things. But he crashed in Saturday practice and had to start at the rear of the field. Won the race. If he's starting on the front row, this time, he might lap the field. Ran real strong at uh, Indianapolis last week. He's in a great mood right now. We pestered him with all sorts of questions about what are you going to do when the wave falls out from under you? You can't keep surfing this thing forever. Not all 38 races, I don't think. No. He says he'll cross that bridge when he comes to it. Look cool, confident, wisecracking, on top of the world. Jimmy Johnson. He's my pick to win. He's got his stuff together. Looks strong at Indianapolis. Won. Of course, he won because Juan Montoya blew a pit stop. Too fast on pit road. Very costly. He was hot. Today, he was cool. He says, once the race was over, hey, I chilled out. No problem. And he was a little defensive when we kept asking him questions about that today. He says, it's over, it's history, you can't change it. Even if they could change it, they wouldn't. Race is over, he lost. So he says he's looking forward to the championship chase, making the playoffs. That's his big deal. He's got to keep focused on the future. But we talked to everybody else. About pit road, speed limits, NASCAR procedures, and they all had questions. They all had answers, too. We asked Jeff Gordon, why can't you put a Garmin on your dashboard? Know exactly what speed you're running. Why can't you have a speedometer? Why can't you have a digital speedometer? Jimmy Johnson, I think he had the best answer. He says, NASCAR system is a good system, but they're the only ones that get to see it. He wants them to pipe it into everybody on pit road, all the teams, and all the media. So we can all see who's speeding and who's not. That would clear up any confusion. And I agree. Jimmy's right. Of course, Jeff Gordon said that most other forms of motorsports could have a speed limit on pit road. And I think the speed limit on pit road is one of the best things NASCAR ever did in terms of safety. They've got a little switch. They hit pit road, they flip the switch. It limits their RPMs to exactly what the sanctioning body wants. And Jeff was asking, why don't we have that in NASCAR? Good question. A lot more good stuff today, too. We dug into the IndyCar series, tried to figure out what's going on over there. Wrote a big story on that. Wrote a couple of other stories, too. Got more stuff to write. Mike Mullen from MikeMullen.net. Pocono, Raceway. Friday evening, going home. Think I'll relax for a while.